the idea of the lawyer skill as argument. I don't think it occurs to people that if you're dealing with a truly a person who hasn't made up his or her mind, a judge trying to figure out if the light was red or green, argument is useful. If they don't have any idea what it should be, argument is a good way to figure that out. But if you're dealing with somebody who's made up his or her mind even a little bit, argument will just push them deeper into where they were at. Yeah. And I yeah. think if people look at their life experiences, you've almost never dealt with anybody whose mind was made up and which any clever argument I made ever changed mm -hmm. their mind. Yeah. We all have that. So if we if, if that doesn't work, then we have to think about what does work. And that's, you know, again, the lawyer model is do it by argument. Although it's interesting because sometimes the best new ideas are the oldest ideas. You know, some of our great lawyers of the world, Gandhi and Lincoln, I mean, a lot of their stuff talks about getting along and being lawyers counsel. You know, I think the lawyer as gladiator really just emerged in kind of the early middle of 20th century. And it became kind of a money thing too, because you, if you had a lot of money, you could exert a lot of power through lawyer arguments. And so it became, went away from lawyers argument, uh, you know, lawyer lawyer's counsel, the lawyer's gladiator. And, and and unfortunately, it's been hard to untangle that, but I think we're trying to get back to the days in which lawyers were counsel to people.